Good morning, everyone. Uh, I would like to welcome you at the beginning of the new week. Uh, today is Monday, 16th of uh, July, 2012. With the main focus of the coming week, of course, will be the testimony of uh, Federal Reserve uh, Chairman Ben Bernanke that is due tomorrow and uh, on uh, Wednesday, as uh, some positive sentiment has been established uh, from last uh, Friday when the uh, hunger for more riskier assets uh, came back in play that was uh, showed on the bounce on the uh, euro that uh, regained some important uh, levels. Uh, however, the overnight uh, uh, price action on the single currencies shows that uh, initial uh, strength and initial uh, positive uh, sentiment is slightly fading now. Uh, most likely that uh, more uh, dovish uh, will be the Bernanke's testimony that might be again trigger for some uh, more uh, risk on uh, policy. As said, the Bernanke uh, serves up a new set of uh, clues uh, this week that uh, might help solve one of the thorniest uh, riders for the world economy. What uh, will it take uh, to make uh, the U.S. Central Bank uh, ease uh, monetary policy further? The Bernanke will uh, present his uh, semi-annual uh, monetary policy report uh, set on Wednesday, on, pardon, on Tuesday and uh, on the on Wednesday to Congress, uh, uh, pardon to to the Congress, and the background of uh, lackluster growth at uh, home and the festering uh, uh, sovereign debt crisis in Europe uh, that is increasingly uh, pre preoccupying the U.S. Uh, policymakers. However, investors uh, will be lucky if uh, Bernanke goes uh, much further than the. Uh, minutes uh, released last week of the Fed's uh, last uh, meeting in the uh, policy meeting in uh, June 19th and uh, 20, as the central bank kept open the option of a third round of uh, outright uh, bond uh, purchases or uh, quantitative easing, uh, uh, as it's usually called in the markets. If the economy took a marked uh, turn for the worse, but appeared uh, to set uh, a high uh, bar for such aggressive uh, action. Also, growth uh, might have uh, been as soft as 1.5% uh, in the second quarter, but uh, falling unemployment claims, claims in the recent weeks, as well as uh, bounce back in auto sales <coughs> pardon, and the durable goods, uh, might see some uh, more pressure in the outlook. Some forecasters were p penciling in a pickup in the growth this quarter to an annual rate of 25 or even 3%. As uh, said, uh, we will have uh, more clues uh, after uh, Bernanke ends his uh, testimony. Uh, until uh, then, as uh, said, uh, some positive uh, tone that has been established is still uh, persisting as uh, dollar came under heavy pressure uh, at the end of the last week. That uh, still uh, holds, but uh, some sort of corrective action of the latest move is uh, seen. Uh, more of this, uh, we're going to take a look uh, in the, our technical uh, part, just to mention also that uh, commodities are, uh, again, uh, gaining a pace. Uh, the crude oil is uh, currently off its recent uh, highs and the range, uh, recent range top has uh, uh, more tensions are uh, seen in Iran as the Iran issues a new oil uh, blockade warning. Uh, recall of, uh, uh, of two weeks ago we mentioned uh, this in our uh, sessions that uh, uh, Iran uh, was ready and uh, was uh, threatening of uh, completely closing the Hormuz Strait uh, uh, for any uh, tanker uh, directed towards the uh, Western world as uh, uh, it, their reaction on the recently imposed uh, sanctions. Also, there were uh, some uh, military exercises in Iran when the country launched their new uh, short to uh, medium range uh, missiles as a direct threat uh, for the countries in the region, especially the Israel. As uh, said, uh, the Iran could prevent even a single drop of oil uh, passing uh, through the Strait of Hormuz if uh, its security is threatened. Uh, this was the words of uh, Naval Chief uh, released on uh, Saturday. As uh, tensions are again uh, raising uh, over the Tehran uh, nuclear program. And basically this is uh, one of the uh, main drivers of the crude oil recently along with the strike in the uh, Norway's uh, platforms uh, where, uh, uh, that, where the, that produced uh, the a reduction actually of the oil supply for the world. Uh, gold is also uh, ticking uh, higher of its recent uh, uh, lows at uh, 1550 zone with the uh, 1596 since so far uh, close uh, to our uh, 
next barrier at 16.00 as investors are also awaiting the Fed's uh, outlook and the uh, Ben Bernanke's uh, testimony that uh, that is due today uh, tomorrow pardon and uh, on uh, Monday the recent uh, gains uh, were uh, tracking the uh, euro the, re the latest rally of euro and uh, basically still uh, we can say that investors are still in the wait and see mode uh, awaiting the Fed's uh, comments and Bernanke's comments uh, tomorrow and on Wednesday that uh, uh, will be uh, will give some uh, more clues and they uh, give more direction uh, uh, whether the gold uh, will uh, <coughs> gain pace and uh, uh, surpass uh, the first barrier at 1600 and go towards the next ones at 1624 and 1640 uh, otherwise uh, dangers uh, danger will be still seen uh, towards the downside uh, with the risk of uh, revisiting the critical uh, support uh, zone at 1530-1500 uh, 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 is still in play as uh, the overall uh, picture is still uh, uh, maintaining a negative tone of its uh, last year's peak at 1920 uh, uh, with the 15-20-30 zone uh, so far holding uh, the downside. A uh, quick look at uh, today's uh, calendar uh, to see the latest uh, to see the Outlook for today as Japan was closed for holiday and uh, Swiss industrial production for uh, first quarter has already been released and it shows uh, minus 5.1 percent we don't have it still in the calendar on the yearly basis uh, compared to minus 7. Point, uh, 5% uh, uh, forecast and uh, positive 8.8% .8 of uh, uh, the fourth quarter of uh, 2012 uh, showing that uh, a significant decrease in the industrial production is seen in Switzerland uh, in the, at the, from the beginning of uh, year 2012. <clears throat> Eurozone uh, inflation is due at uh, 9 o'clock. Uh, uh, no change forecasted at uh, 2.4 compared to the previous base release as well as uh, core CPI. Uh, for June expected uh, not to change from 1.6%. Uh, the EU Eurozone's uh, trade balance is uh, due at the same time at uh, 900 with the uh, surplus uh, forecasted to narrow to 4.8 billion euros compared to 6.2 billion euros of uh, April's release. Uh, across the ocean uh, foreign securities purchases from Canada due at uh, 1230 GMT for May are expected uh, in more positive uh, figures compared to the April release, 13.5 billion Canadian dollars is today's forecast compared to 10.2 billion uh, in the release of April, uh, while the uh, U.S. retail sales at the same time for uh, June are uh, forecasted uh, at 0.2 percent compared to minus 2.2 percent of uh, May's release. Core, uh, core retail sales are also uh, set for improvement according to the today's forecast uh, minus uh, pardon 0.10 percent is the forecast compared to uh, minus 0.4 percent of release in uh, May. Empire State Manufacturing Index for uh, July uh, is forecasted at 3.9 uh, compared to uh, 2.3 percent of uh, uh, June's release and the uh, U.S. business inventories uh, due at 1400 GMT for May are expected to decrease uh, to 0.2 percent compared to 0.4 percent of uh, April's uh, release and now we're going to take a look at the uh, major currencies and commodities and see the latest uh, movements and the outlook uh, for uh, today and the uh, uh, four days ahead of us as uh, mentioned the double bottom uh, pattern was uh, uh, formed on the uh, euro's uh, latest uh, move uh, bottoms at uh, 121.65 and 121.61 posted last Thursday and Friday uh, preventing as the bounce a sharp bounce higher and uh, again the levels uh, close to 123 122.70 seen so far preventing the pair uh, of uh, further slide and the test of our uh, downside target at uh, 121.50 that was our short term a target the lows of uh, low of uh, June 2010. Uh, initial uh, positive uh, tone that uh, resulted even in uh, today's uh, weekly gap higher opening it did not uh, show much so far as uh, the pair peaked at uh, 121.70 at the opening and since then was easing on the quite uh, thin market. The main risk is now seen as the positive uh, near term sentiment is uh, fading uh, on clear break below 122.25 uh, higher base where are also the 
at 20 and uh, 55 days uh, moving averages uh, of uh, that uh, that will uh, risk uh, further easing and uh, return down towards the 12160 uh, zone as the hourly studies are still uh, uh, pointing lower uh, the more risk is seen towards the downside however uh, ability to hold around uh, this level to find the a uh, footstep as the pair dipped so far to 122.19 uh, might be showing uh, some uh, possibility of uh, further extension higher. Uh, for our uh, structure, is, uh, these indicators are still pointing uh, higher, but uh, uh, recent uh, move lower overnight and uh, brief break below the <clears throat> 20 days exponential moving, av exponential moving average, pardon, that's currently in the neutral uh, a mode and needs uh, more uh, moves higher in order to uh, confirm the current uh, uh, signals of a positive, uh, more positive tone as the indicators are pointing higher but still holding below their midlines. Uh, regain of uh, minimum uh, 122, 90, 123, where is the previous uh, week's uh, 11th of uh, July high and the 23.6% uh, retracement of the latest downlook from uh, uh, 12691 to 12166 uh, uh, along with a, a more significant uh, 12333 10th of uh, July high and uh, descending 55 days exponential moving average required to confirm a more positive uh, uh, tone and allow for a stronger uh, recovery. A larger picture is still holding the uh, firmly bearish tone as all indicators are uh, pointing uh, uh, lower but uh, some uh, signals of reversal might be seen on the uh, daily stochastic uh, as at uh, levels at uh, minimum 123, 123, 30 and on daily chart more significant uh, 124 uh, uh, level is uh, required to uh, confirm the recovery and the prevent pair from further sliding otherwise uh, likely scenario would be uh, further slide through 12150 and test of our uh, a medium term uh, target and the uh, long term uh, uh, lows at uh, 120 psychological uh, level at uh, 120 uh, zone last time uh, traded uh, over two years ago. <clears throat> the cable holds uh, near term uh, positive structure after finding a good support at uh, 154 uh, uh, zone uh, that was our initial uh, uh, support ahead of uh, 153 more significant uh, uh, 15300 long term uh, uh, range uh, floor from uh, that held uh, the downside from uh, 2010 the bounce of uh, last uh, uh, weeks uh, last thursday's low at uh, 15392 uh, recovered uh, so far uh, a good part of the latest uh, down move from uh, 152.7, pardon, 157.21 to 153.92, uh, regaining exactly 61.8% uh, retracement of the entire move and approaching a, a more significant uh, 156 barrier break of which is uh, uh, now required to uh, resume the current recovery and prevent uh, pair from further uh, weakness. Uh, currently, the pull, corrective pullback on uh, overbought uh, conditions on the uh, one and four hour chart uh, is has so far tested uh, 155.45 initial uh, support after initial uh, after the first uh, uh, support level at 155.76 uh, previous uh, high has been uh, uh, taken out with the uh, 20 days exponential moving average uh, at 155.45 so far holding the downside a further slide is not ruled out as the indicators are still uh, on our chart is still pointing uh, lower with ideal reversal seen around the uh, above uh, 155 zone where it's 38.2% uh, uh, retracement and they are sending 55 days moving average at approximately 155 uh, 15 that will serve as ideal level uh, in case of a further uh, reversal lower as uh, further easing as a uh, ideal level for reversal in order to keep the near term uh, uh, bullish structure in play for possible further extension higher a break above uh, 15600 is required uh, to confirm the uh, freshly establishing positive tone as uh, indicators on four hour chart broke above their uh, midlines uh, uh, break above uh, 15600 and uh, uh, 15622 uh, refocus upside levels at uh, 157 and the 15721 uh, a loss of uh, 15500 uh, would be risky as uh, uh, this might be 
uh, turning a uh, focus again towards the downside and the revisit of uh, 154.60 and the more significant uh, uh, 154.00 level. <clears throat> the dollar yen remains under heavy pressure as uh, a recent uh, dollar's weakness and upside rejection at uh, our uh, main upside target uh, break point and the uh, short term range top at 80.00 triggered uh, fresh weakness uh, with the pair currently uh, testing the lower, lower boundaries of uh, the uh, short term range at 79.00 where is also the 200 days uh, moving average uh, more uh, negative uh, outlook uh, on uh, lower and larger time frames keeps the focus uh, firmly at the downside with the clear break below uh, this very strong uh, 79.00 support uh, required to uh, open way for further easing and basically to establish a new uh, short-term direction as the pair has been entrenched within the uh, past three four weeks in the 7980 pardon 79 and 800 range uh, uh, moving in the sideways mode uh, now current uh, attempts uh, below 7900 are expected to establish fresh uh, direction and open uh, our next uh, downside targets at uh, 78 uh, uh, 80, 78, uh, 60, and uh, 78, 0, 0 is around figure support uh, with the uh, revisit uh, on clear break below this level of uh, 77, 65, our key uh, short-term support, 1st of uh, June, uh, uh, low seen, uh, not ruled out uh, in case of uh, firm break below 79 and uh, 78, uh, 60. On the upside, immediate uh, uh, barrier is uh, dynamic resistance at 79, 14, 20 days, descending 20 days, uh, exponential moving average that uh, maintains the uh, recent uh, downtrend in past uh, couple of days with the uh, regain on the upside at uh, 79 uh, 20 uh, pardon 79 uh, 45 where is 55 days moving average and the uh, uh, 79 50 as a midpoint of the uh, recent short term range uh, required to ease the bear pressure and pre and prevent pe pair from uh, further uh, easing The dollar Swiss is in the near term uh, corrective uh, mode after hitting fresh high at uh, 98.71 uh, last Friday. Uh, pullback on uh, overbought uh, uh, for our conditions is so far uh, attempting to base at uh, 97.80 zone. This is our initial uh, uh, support, 98.97.80 uh, zone initial uh, uh, support and just ahead of 23.6% uh, retracement. However, still uh, negative, still the descending uh, indicators uh, on the four-hour chart uh, see potential of uh, further easing, further corrective easing, uh, with the more significant uh, support seen at uh, 97.40 zone, where is the higher platform of last week, as well as uh, ascending uh, 55 days uh, moving average, and uh, ideal reversal uh, should be seen around uh, this zone. Otherwise, uh, risk will be seen on the uh, uh, revisiting a uh, 97 zone uh, close to which is 38.2% uh, uh, retracement and loss of uh, 9700 is psychological uh, support to delay the immediate uh, uh, bulls and allow for a deeper reversal. On the upside, uh, clear break above uh, 9871, a recent uh, high is requ uh, required to uh, resume the uh, bulls uh, towards uh, 99.00 is uh, first uh, psychological and round figure barrier ahead of uh, uh, longer term uh, descend the uh, Fibonacci retracement 61.8 percent uh, at 99.45 descend of uh, 117.30 2010 uh, uh, peak to 70.67 2011 and also historical low of uh, dollar Swiss uh, above which comes the parity level and uh, uh, 10057 uh, weekly 200 days uh, moving average. <clears throat> uh, crude oil, we're still in the August uh, uh, contract, uh, is uh, testing the upper uh, uh, levels. Actually, it broke above the recent uh, range uh, top at 86.46, extending again so far to 87.60 uh, with the positive uh, uh, structure seen on the four hour chart uh, while uh, Indicators on uh, one hour uh, uh, chart are pointing lower after uh, the, pay, the price reverses on uh, overbought hourly conditions. As uh, the indicators of uh, one hour chart are uh, pointing lower and they approaching the uh, their midlines, uh, possibility of uh, further uh, reversal is uh, not ruled out. The recent uh, up leg of the range uh, uh, 
a floor at 85 to 88, pardon, 8760 would uh, look for test of uh, initial support, 8646 previous uh, uh, range uh, top uh, ahead of uh, 86 zone, where is the spike low of uh, last Friday, as well as at uh, 38.2% uh, uh, retracement, and basically loss of uh, 86 level uh, would uh, uh, be signal for a further uh, range. They will bring by, by basically the price uh, in the uh, recently established range that was uh, broke on the last Friday's action and will delay uh, bulls. Any reversal above 86 uh, level would uh, be signal of continuation of the uh, uptrend of uh, 83.64 and the high low at 84.24 uh, for possible test of uh, our key barrier, uh, key short term barrier at 88.97 high of 5th of July. Uh, from fundamental side, uh, we mentioned already in our introduction that uh, uh, mounting uh, tensions in the uh, Persian Gulf uh, with Iran's uh, fresh threats of uh, closing uh, Hormuz Strait are likely going to be quite uh, supportive for the oil price and uh, uh, based on the fundamentals, uh, more uh, focus would be seen towards the upside. And the gold has said uh, most of inv investors are awaiting the uh, verdict from uh, Fed on Bernanke's uh, testimony. Uh, just to mention that uh, from uh, Ichimoku studies, the, uh, the gold price penetrated the daily uh, cloud, with the studies uh, still, uh, I would say, rather uh, neutral to negative uh, mode. We need to see a clear break above uh, uh, 15, uh, pardon. Uh, 1600, where is uh, 1612, where is the range, uh, pardon, where is the cloud set up in order to confirm. This also coincides with our uh, uh, upside targets at uh, 1600 and then uh, 1624 and the 1633 peaks, uh, break of which is required uh, to uh, avert immediate uh, downside risk. Uh, some improvement is seen on the four-hour chart studies as they broke above, briefly above their midlines with a clear break above uh, uh, 1600 and uh, 1600 uh, level uh, required to confirm the positive uh, short-term stance and uh, uh, prevent pair from further sliding and open weight towards our uh, upside barriers 1624 and 1633. A larger picture uh, uh, still uh, maintains a negative, a neutral to negative uh, uh, tone as uh, the pair, the gold price uh, currently being capped by descending a 55 days uh, moving average with the. Uh, 90 days one uh, currently at 16.18 just ahead of uh, static uh, barriers at uh, 16.24, 16.33 and uh, 16.40. Uh, uh, basically there is still a sort of uh, range on the downside limited but, but at uh, uh, 15.50 and the main risk would be seen on the easing uh, below 15.50 that will open way uh, directly for a test of uh, critical support at 15.30, uh, 15.20 uh, uh, the level that uh, it uh, keeps the downside uh, protected uh, since uh, September 2011 uh, as the gold remains uh, still in the downtrend from its historical uh, peak at uh, 1920 posted on September 2011 but uh, the 15 uh, 2030 zone still uh, holds uh, the downside and the break uh, here is uh, uh, is going to be trigger for a further easing and further stronger correction of uh, uh, golds uh, past 10 years uh, strong uh, rally, strong uptrend uh, that uh, moved from approximately $300 uh, per ounce level uh, seen in 2000-2001 uh, and uh, that uh, peaked at uh, September 2011 at a record high at uh, 1920 US dollars uh, per ounce. Uh, that was uh, all uh, for today. Uh, immediately after this session uh, we have the questions and answers uh, a part where you can uh, uh, send your questions and uh, we will be uh, ready to answer them. Please, you can uh, start with the questions now. Okay, we have one for the Aussie dollar. The hourly structure is uh, still positive, but uh, uh, corrective easing seen on the uh, overbought uh, conditions on the hourly chart after uh, today's uh, gap higher opening, uh, uh, more to turn the near-term focus uh, more to the downside, more negative as the gap has been filled and the uh, pair is approaching, uh, pair dipped uh, to the 
uh, session low at uh, 10211 that is uh, uh, currently the initial uh, support along with the ascending uh, 20 days uh, moving average uh, Quick look, and this is also uh, close to 23.6 percent retracement. I would see more easing uh, through 10210 uh, uh, support uh, with the risk uh, break below uh, figure support at uh, 102 and the uh, open next uh, very significant support uh, at around uh, uh, basically uh, pardon uh, 102 uh, break below 10210 to open uh, 102 another. Uh, uh, significant support where it's uh, ascending 55 days moving average currently at uh, 10196 and 10192 38.2% retracement and basically loss of uh, this level could be uh, quite risky for the current uh, uh, strong rally. Any reversal above uh, uh, 102 would be just the end of the current correction and uh, keep the near-term uh, bullish uh, structure of uh, 100099 low for last Thursday in play. On the four-hour chart, uh, uh, current uh, movement and break below the uh, descending, uh, attempt at uh, descending uh, bear trend line of uh, 10326 uh, that uh, still uh, keeps the upside uh, uh, protected uh, needs. We need to see clear break above here as the four-hour indicators are approaching their midlines with the clear uh, clear break above uh, uh, trend line currently at 102.44 and the uh, high of uh, overnight session at 102.49 required to uh, turn focus at uh, 102.80 uh, peak of uh, last week and the possible extension towards uh, 103, uh, 103.26 as said uh, uh, more positive tone seen on the uh, four hour chart uh, indicators but the break above uh, uh, 102.50 required uh, to confirm Uh, there is a question if uh, is there any pair that uh, you consider less volatile to trade on or they are all the same now this depends on the market uh, conditions of course uh, uh, more popular uh, instruments and uh, like majors and the uh, commodities uh, are having always uh, more volume but uh, volatility again comes uh, with the uh, market uh, conditions uh, especially when there are certain uncertainties uh, in the markets uh, with the uh, key releases or uh, uh, at, the, at the moment let's say the Bernanke's uh, speech that is due tomorrow and the uh, uh, day after that will uh, bring some more uh, attention in the markets. Again uh, just to repeat that uh, this uh, directly depends on the market uh, conditions not just market conditions but uh, uh, world conditions. Uh, uh, for example now the same problem is uh, with the crude oil as uh, uh, raising tensions in uh, in the Persian Gulf uh, regarding the latest uh, threat of Iran of closing the uh, Strait of Hormuz are uh, bringing more volatility and more uh, uncertainty in the market uh, movements. <clears throat> Uh, do we have any further question for today's uh, session? Dollar Canada. Okay. As uh, the dollar came under uh, heavy pressure last uh, Friday, there was a, a slide uh, in the dollar Canadian after hitting a uh, a high at uh, 10248 uh, last uh, Thursday, dipping uh, so far to uh, 10128. Uh, 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 quite negative uh, tone is seen on the hourly chart, uh, though the studies, the indicator started uh, to point higher, but uh, uh, so far the any potential of uh, a further uh, gains seen, uh, seen limited as long as uh, uh, 10170, 102 zone uh, uh, holds uh, the upside uh, pro protected. Uh, negative, more negative tone seen on the four-hour chart after a, a bounce of uh, one uh, one zero zero ninety nine, a low of fifth uh, of uh, July, uh, run out of steam at uh, one zero two fifty. That was uh, last Thursday after uh, Thursday after uh, retracing uh, between fifty and sixty one point eight percent of the down move from uh, 
10361 to 10099 as the indicators are uh, still in the negative uh, territory although some uh, signals are seen on the reversing stochastics on the four hour chart and uh, we need to see the break above uh, I would say 102 uh, level in order to improve the current uh, negative uh, structure uh, daily structure is uh, uh, more focused uh, towards the downside with the sideways moving currently uh, 200 days moving average at uh, 10107 offering the main support as following the previous uh, false break uh, below uh, this uh, dynamic support a loss of uh, 101 zone uh, previous low and the uh, 200 days uh, moving average uh, uh, would be quite risky as this that will be signal of uh, further extension of the uh, short-term uh, descent uh, from uh, 10444 peak of uh, 4th of uh, June that has so far retraced around 50 percent of initial uh, rally from uh, 90, uh, 9800 to 10444 uh, and uh, a break below 101 as set uh, would be signal uh, would be trigger for a further extension lower on the upper side uh, regain of uh, 10250 is uh, to avert uh, immediate downside risk and uh, possibly confirm the uh, base at uh, 101 for further extension uh, higher uh, trend line resistance uh, stands at uh, 103 as seen as the next uh, upside barrier any further question no okay that was uh, then that was all uh, for today i would like to thank you all for uh, attending our live uh, sessions all those that connected uh, later can find the recorded version in uh, shortly uh, will be uploaded in the youtube uh, our uh, uh, page is called the uh, windsor brokers forex along with this you can find a number of uh, short-term uh, technical analysis uh, we'll be back uh, tomorrow morning at the same time at uh, 7000 gmt until then i wish you a nice day and a very successful trading. Good luck.